<laughs> no, you just got a coin, Lisa. This is Bart's car, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there goes Bart's college money. <laughs> you can use the assets of the deceased, it's fine. <laughs> without a problem. And without feeling guilty, hopefully. Gotcha. I can use your school bus. Oh, right. Cool. Meet my you take a handstand. <laughs> Little early on the uh, idle method. Get in the school bus. Okay, what do we need to do? Oh, don't let time run out. That's my favorite addendum to a mission description. Drop to the episode so many cars. <laughs> Why is it? It always does that. It makes you like reverse. Why does the uh, the bus have a transparent roof? <laughs> okay, that might have been good in the long run. You know, the turquoise van is causing other people problems. I saw that turquoise van twice in the span of like 10 seconds. <laughs> and you're, just, you're just pushing the car into other cars. <laughs> I'm getting into this. I remember as a kid, I'm doing the same thing now where I like, I feel these hits. Yeah, you're uh, recoiling <laughs> in my chair. What's wrong about, dude? Auto, I'm this close to failing the third grade. Oh, it's all right, Bot, dude. It'll work out in the end. Look out, look at me. I failed the third grade twice, and now I drive the school bus. <laughs> oh, it's all it's all flowing back, and I love it. Uh, where am I? Am I going through the... The yes. school bus shortcut. Correct that mistake. I don't think the uh, the shocks on the bus are good enough <laughs> to take a fall like that, but. Is that a threat when I get my driver's license? I hope. Man, when I get my driver's license, I'm gonna ignore the. I hope you have kids. Well, Lisa, eight-year-old kid. Is he taking the ramp? Is he not? When I get my driver's license... That'd be a, a horrible threat. When I get my driver's license, I hope you have a blind child trying to chase a ball out <laughs> into the into the street, and I'm going to ignore the sign. Deaf that children... Very, that is very specific. <laughs> deaf children at play. <laughs> Don't worry, officers. I only killed people I was told to. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get away. <laughs> and the cops threw you into the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I cheesed the mission, everybody. I cheesed the mission. Wait, did they bring back that last car with a little more health? Or what did they just do? Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Was that a third car? No, I think, no, it said, told me to drive here because I passed the, the, the casino, as you can see up in the top left. I already passed that, so I guess it wanted me to drive over here and get another car, but that car was already blown all the hell. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Lisa by the Ocean reminds me of the... Lisa by the Ocean reminds me when she cut all the the, the plastic can lit, uh, holders for the fish and then Mr. Burns gets that great idea. Wait a second, you cut these plastic can holders? So the fish don't get caught, but what if we don't cut them? And what if we glue a bunch of them together and we can catch a bunch of fish? 
That's the most sad one. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that Smithers right here? I killed him twice, but whatever. We need some wise words from Chief Wigan. Mm. He ran over my son earlier, so... We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Uh, no strikes. <laughs> but that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. <laughs> now, first of all, if we're gonna go undercover, you will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. <laughs> so what disguise do you have? That sounds pretty great. Right? <laughs> Halloween costumes. Fine, wait here and I'll get changed. So now I, I just bought a bus. <laughs> I bought an entire bus. <laughs> Hop in, Wiggum. Where's the Halloween shop? Oh yeah, I forgot. Do you have a map? Why do they? Wh I. Why are they making me do this? Oh yeah, the shortcut has a a stopper. So if you want to take the chance on that shortcut ever. Do you know where you're going? Uh yes, I'm pretty sure it's up. What? I'm pretty sure it's at the comic book shop. Yeah, Nelson is officiating races, apparently. While the mob people are doing whatever. Well, I guess it's any clothes changing space. I just want, I want to get one line dialogue out of him. Oh, it's just the radioactive man. Don't touch that. That is a ticket to the unreleased Itchy and Scratchy episode. Okay. I would only trade that for a complete set of collector cards. Please to note, I said complete. I'm not going through that crap again. Okay, fine. All right. We got to get some cards. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I always want to check these. The Florida costume. Cool. Wait, which one do I need? You said eye patch. I think he said we don't have enough money for eye patch. So you need like a wig. Oh, okay. Or something like that. I'm here's the thing, I remember doing this one. Yeah, it might it probably is any one. Yep. Yeah. You're too cool to be someone. Who could endanger Mr. Burns? <laughs> I hope there. I hope Mr. Burns is the final boss fight. Why am I saying that? I know exactly what the last boss fight is. <laughs> and Lisa will just like kick, 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 kick. <laughs> well, Mr. Burns has received the like most like legit. I guess wound, I guess, because he was shot. Like Homer's got like a garage door slammed on his head, but it didn't seem like it hurt that much. Well, it knocked him out. Yeah. You know, he just, he was whimpering, so. So is this enough? Even though Snake might not even know who I am? Three strikes. Oh, do you want to do this? We can switch. All right, uh, uh, we're switching. I did the, just in time for me to uh, fail the mission. Many times. Uh, what are we? We are. I was not expecting him to drop it that fast. <laughs> Strike one. Counterfeit designer jeans. Capitalist of all crimes. Cap what? <laughs> well, at least it told us ahead. At least it told us early. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to take that shortcut. The riskiest of all shortcuts. I was not expecting that item that fast. No. It's Wiggum time. Uh, I was even faster. <laughs> Somehow. Oh yeah, Snake has the fastest car in the whole game, I'm pretty sure. I think the only car that is faster is the rocket car in front of the gold mansion back in Springfield. Or the first area. Counterfeit designer jeans. That is totally not fair. <laughs> it put the item in front of a wall. <laughs> so I had to run into the wall to get it. That's so not cool. Run into the wall at varying speeds. 
And also, if what you're saying is true, I very much dislike that uh, his car is the fastest. Yes. Or second fastest. Is he gonna drop him in the same place? I hope so. Because if that's the case, I'll just wait by wherever he's gonna drop it. You know? mm -hmm. That turquoise van is just... It's out to get us. Okay, so it's... It's because he stopped. Front of a wall again. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that is tough <laughs> on you. Now I'm getting the, the hard missions. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> strap my stuff. Give me the hardest mission. Give me that mission that I'm absolutely scared beyond belief about. Yeah, if you if you remember which one it is, we'll, we'll have to give it to you to to see what uh, how you react. I'm just hoping you get it. I remember there's one mission in here that it's like I'm gonna have to use my clap powers. I just please, oh my gosh, I literally cannot fail that. <laughs> it's a, it's an on an incline, so I can't. I literally can't hit the wall. He drives too fast. Uh huh. Maybe hit him, like if you can try to like tap him. Because he's on a timer of when he drops these things. Okay, so. Can I. Uh, if you can, like, box him in there, he'll probably just. Yeah, he's on a timer to when he's dropping these things. Obviously, when I go backwards, I fly, fly backwards, but. Man, when I try to go up, I can't. Okay, I guess he's on a timer because he's been dropping in different spots, but he. What? Running over an. I think we got a bigger problem. He had the body. He threw the body out the window. I gotta dispose of this evidence. What is that thing in the back of the trunk? Is that the a police dog? Here's the thing. That's a stupid mechanic. Because you could have failed it because he was getting too far away yeah. from you, despite the fact that all you had to pick up was one more thing. I didn't even hear what the third thing was. I kind of wish I did. Because the other two were pretty funny. Yeah. I was I was ready to be really angry. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can run over as many people as you want. Oh, because I'm a cop? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Damn right. I, just, I don't think I ever noticed that. There you go. Legally sanctioned violence. Here we go. I'm not gonna make this, aren't I? <laughs> oh my god. What did I say? If you just floor it, I guess. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that was cheap. <laughs> That's so. I hate this. <laughs> it's a new problem every mission. Why did I need a disguise for that? <laughs> I forget. I didn't hear. Five buffets per boat, inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. You want to take it back? <laughs> I'll take it back. <laughs> I'll uh spend my time while you're doing that crying in the corner. All right, gotcha. I Thinking hear you. back on how much I didn't like that. <laughs> you're gonna hate this game. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess it's one of the, it's a situation like when we played Spider-Man 2 where it's just like, yeah, it's got good parts in it, but it's like, there's a lot of parts in it where I'm just like, oh, that wasn't fun. You're going the wrong way. Understood. I just want to take the ramp. Oh, okay. And that was a good drift. You know, everyone, everyone talks about Spider-Man 2 and the, the web swinging is still amazing. It's really fun. Oh, absolutely. But when you're like, you like play the final boss fight in that game, and you're like, oh. 
Yeah, this this game's not like. Oh, that was a fun boss fight. It was really <laughs> hard. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't play it, so yeah, you know, I haven't played it in over a decade. So I'm the I'm the one with the experience here. Maybe I haven't. Render me a favor, and it might jar remember. Ah, shut up. Everyone needs us to jar jog their memory. <laughs> Get it? You can't win. <laughs> Jar my memory. Throw him in the, throw him in a tank with a hammerhead. I'll kill you. <laughs> I can't think of any good uh, sea captain jokes. I know they're out there. But... Right, so today we have collected fish, <laughs> and then and monkeys. <laughs> yeah. The... Hey, the last fish I, sh uh, the last fish I collect should be dead. Just for the record. Because they're above... Or no, these are the mutated fish that maybe can breathe above water? I don't know. Wow, this car let is nice. The, let us know the Simpsons lore on what abilities the mutant fish have. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing I was talking about earlier that I didn't bring up, they were talking about... Apparently, ever, uh, sometimes like publications will like get in touch with the Simpsons people, the, the original writers and the showrunners. And they'll be like, hey, what what about this plot hole? And they'll answer it because they think it's fun. As would I, you know. I think that'd be fun if people wrote you about, like, the stuff that you wrote. And it's like, hey, what did you mean by this? And stuff like that. Yeah. And the thing about the Steamed Hams episode is there was an episode... Am I going around? I guess so. Apparently, in the episode, uh, Chalmers gets there and he's like... Well, Seymour, I got here despite your direction. Apparently, there was an episode that aired three episodes or four episodes before that, sometime earlier in the season, where Chalmers goes on a date with uh, Skinner's mom, and he knows how to get to the house, so there's no reason that he should be saying, well, I, well, I got here, Smithers, or Skinner's, despite your direction. Mm -hmm. And the showrunner was like, yeah... Uh, we just didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess, um... I mean, that episode was specifically, uh... That was the 22 short stories in Springfield or whatever? Uh, yes. So... They probably didn't know when, uh... That episode was gonna air compared to other ones, maybe. That, that's a good point. Especially if it was that close to it. Yeah, I think it very well, very well could have uh, aired uh, before that one. So I'm paranoid about these delayed, like, you got it sounds. Like, I miss it. Yeah, it's very weird. Unless I'm hearing something different. I don't know. Why would I hear something different? Oh yeah, by the way, there's people in these uh, teapot costumes, or these fire hydrant costumes. I remember running into the f one the first time, and I felt really bad about it. <laughs> I missed it, and I thought I was doing impeccable last time. I wasn't, like, really running into anything. And now I am, so I'm probably going to lose. Uh, you can restart if you want. Nah, maybe. I'll make an attempt. Maybe I stopped. Because... You you sat through mine, so I, I don't really mind what you do. Maybe I... I don't know, maybe I stopped because I thought, no, I'm not going to... Well, maybe. You do you. God, I went through the bush. I want to say... Okay, I got it this time. Somehow I did better than last time. I don't know you how did I did. a little better. I'm wondering if you would have even made that, because when I, when I hit that ramp, I was going like full speed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you would have even made it. Have a good life. I hope these are recyclable. 
Why can't I hit that B? I secretly really wanted to hit that B. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. You just like you you're farming you're farming hit and run bar here. <laughs> I gotta cultivate a, a a police reaction. Or I gotta uh, cultivate a police response. Or no, I gotta cultivate a great police reputation. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. We just, uh, we helped Chief Wiggum out. He should, uh, help us out. Yeah. Just, uh, don't let the cops come after us for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, can I, I gotta, I gotta collect three-head fish. What was the reason for the three-head fish? It was the nuclear power plant? Yeah, I think so. Dumping stuff into the river, if I remember it right. Something, uh, weird has happened. It's probably Mr. Burns. <laughs> Since the beginning of time, man has yearned to destroy the sun. I will do <laughs> the next best thing. Black it out. That was an interesting episode. <laughs> uh, wait, where am I at, time-wise? Uh, not like what, how many seconds I have, but... What, was I at 22 seconds um, here last time? I think you were around 18-ish. <laughs> That could not be worse. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, try to angle this where I can, like, I'm not giving up too much. Okay. Five seconds. It... Should, wait, which way should Andy I go? Andy got rid of the cops. That was great. <laughs> that was nice. Which way should I go? Should I go back this way? I guess. Yeah, you're already going that way. <laughs> Everything will work out in the end. 